popular breakfast foods and cereals marketed to children contain a weed-killing chemical that some health authorities link to cancer. The research out this morning discovered trace amounts of glyphosate in oats, granolas, and snack bars. 31 out of 45 tested products had levels higher than what some scientists consider safe for children. Anna Werner is here with what these findings mean. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Glyphosate is the most widely used herbicide in the country, but some scientists, doctors, and activists want it kept out of your food due to concerns that it might cause cancer. Now one environmental group finds it may have made its way to your breakfast table. We're very concerned that consumers are eating more glyphosate than they know. Scott Faber has been working to improve food safety standards for more than a decade. He says the team at the Nonprofit Environmental Working Group, or EWG, had a lab test 45 samples of products made with conventionally grown oats and found glyphosate, the active ingredient in the Monsanto weed killer Roundup, in all but two. I was uh, shocked. Dr. Jennifer Lowry heads the Council on Environmental Health for the American Academy of Pediatrics. We don't know a lot about the effects of glyphosate on children, and essentially we're just throwing it at them. EWG used its own more stringent standards to conclude that products with excessive levels of the herbicide included Quaker Old Fashioned Oats, Cheerios, Quaker Dinosaur Egg Instant Oats, Great Value Instant Oats, and Back to Nature Classic Granola. Glyphosate was even found in a few organic products, though most had non-detectable levels. The World Health Organization says glyphosate is a probable carcinogen. The state of California lists it as a chemical known to the state to cause cancer. Monsanto disputes that, saying in a statement glyphosate does not cause cancer and has a more than 40-year history of safe use. And Monsanto criticized EWG's research, saying even at the highest level reported, an adult would have to eat 118 pounds of the food item every day for the rest of their life in order to reach the EPA's limit for glyphosate residues. Did Monsanto fail to adequately warn of the potential risks? Answer, yes. But last week, a jury in California ordered Monsanto to pay one man $289 million in damages after he claimed the company's glyphosate weed killers caused his cancer. And EWG's favor is skeptical of EPA's glyphosate limits. We don't think it does enough in particular to protect children. It is time now for them to step up and do their jobs to ban glyphosate. Zen Honeycutt heads Moms Across America, a group formed to raise awareness about toxic exposures. Her family switched to an organic-only diet after her three sons developed allergies and other health problems. We want to trust that what is in the grocery store is safe. And the shocking reality is that in many cases it's not. We reached out to the makers of those products. In a statement, Quaker said, we proudly stand by the safety and quality of our Quaker products. Any levels of glyphosate that may remain are significantly below any limits of the safety standards set by the EPA and the European Commission as safe for human consumption. And General Mills told us our products are safe and without question they meet regulatory safety levels. The EPA has researched this issue and has set rules that we follow. Yeah, yeah, so I didn't see Honey Nut Cheerios or Frosted Plates on the list, but what should you do? Should you be looking at your cereal boxes? Yeah, you know, it's hard. Know. So yeah. what this study sort of seems to suggest is that the organic products had much lower levels yeah. in general. Some of them did have some traces, uh, but that they seem to have lower levels of uh, pesticides hmm. um, for whatever reason. So uh, some people may want to try to look to see and read some of the research themselves. Yeah. It's tricky though. It's hard to, to go organic.